In this video, I'm going to solve a type C inequality one way. The way we're going to do it is we're going to multiply first and then we're going to subtract. If you look on the left side, the x is not isolated, the x is not alone because of the 4 and the negative 9. The x is separated from the 4 by addition. That's why we're going to use the inverse operation subtraction. The x is separated from the negative 9 by a fraction bar, which means division. That is why we're using the inverse operation of multiplication. So first, we multiply each side by a number. And we're going to multiply by negative 9 because the x is being divided by negative 9, and the opposite of division is multiplication. On the left side, we multiply by a fraction since we're multiplying the negative 9 by a fraction. On the right side, we can write the negative 9 as just negative 9 because we're multiplying it by the integer 7. On the left side, I'm going to draw a 1 through the negative 9 divided by negative 9. If you have a negative 9 in the numerator and a negative 9 in the denominator, that is equivalent to 1. Negative 9 divided by negative 9 is 1. So we're only going to have this x plus 4 left over. So when you do a problem like this, a type C, think about the fact that you're just going to have the numerator left over. 7 times a negative 9, we get 63. And a positive number times a negative number is a negative number, so really a negative 63. Multiplying both sides by negative 9 flips the inequality direction. Remember, multiplying or dividing both sides of the inequality by a negative number reverses the direction of the inequality. Next, we're going to subtract. So the x and the 4 separated by addition, the inverse is subtraction. So we subtract 4 from the left side, we subtract 4 from the right side. On the left side, positive 4 and negative 4 form a zero pair, so we're left with x. Negative 63 minus 4 signs the same, so we add them together. 63 and 4 make 67, so we have 67 negatives. Subtracting 4 from each side does not flip the inequality, so our final answer is x is less than or equal to negative 67.